Hey, welcome back to another Professor Jason Reed walkthrough. For this walkthrough, we're going to be going through Word 365, Chapter 8, Entertainers. So let's go ahead and begin. Go ahead and scroll down to Week 3, and let's click on the My Lab IT course content. And select Word Chapter 8. And the Word 8G Entertainers homework. I'm going to go ahead and download our materials. Once again, do not download the all files. Make sure you click on each of the download buttons. It should download and save in your downloads folder. And let's go ahead and open up our student file. And make sure you hit enable editing. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit, make it a little easier for us to read. Now in this particular assignment, what we're going to go through is we are going to learn how to create a template and then customize that template so that we can take a database and customize our template or our letter to send out to individuals. If you've ever received any of those mass mailings in the in the mail, which has your name, sometimes in all caps. Uh, it's not that they went through and typed up each one of those. They used a template, sort of what we're gonna do here, to create a custom letter to send to you. So to do this, first thing we want to do is we want to make sure our paragraph marks are on. So right here under the paragraph grouping on the home tab, let's make sure this is turned on. Also, let's go to the view tab and let's put a check mark next to ruler. So that way we can see our ruler here at the top and our ruler here on the side. We will be using those later on in this assignment. So now very first thing we want to do is we want to select the two line company address. So right here, let's click on the, let's highlight this two line address. And we are going to apply bold so remember, hold down the control key or for your max, hold down command and hit B for bold. Also, we want to change the font size to 12. So we'll go to our home tab here under our font group. Go ahead and select font size of 12. We also want to change the font color. So we're going to come over here to our font color, our A with the red underline. Hit the down arrow. And it wants us to go to the second to the last row column, which is teal accent five. And we want to go all the way down to teal accent five, darker 25%. Now it wants us to create a character style named address. So all of these right here are character styles. Notice how I hover over them, they change. Well, we want to create one that's called address. So make sure this is still highlighted. And we're going to come to our styles group. We're going to click the down arrow with the line above it. And we're going to go ahead and create a style. So our style address box or our style dialog box comes up here. Let's go ahead and we're going to name this address. Make sure you capitalize the A. And hit modify. So in our create new style from formatting, we have our name, which is address. Our style type, we wanna make it a character style. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the down arrow here, and I'm gonna change it to character. So star style type is going to be character. And we'll go ahead and leave everything else the same. Go ahead and hit okay. So now, if you should notice, up under our styles grouping here, we should now have our new address style that we just created for easy uh, reference later on. So now it wants us to go to the last line where it says Mark Graber, Entertainment Director. Let's go ahead and highlight his name. And let's go ahead and apply that address style. So we're going to come up here to our styles grouping. You can hit the down arrow with the line above it if you need to, the more button find where it says address and go ahead and click on it and notice how it will apply that address style that we created. So now we are going to get to our letters mail merge. This is where we can customize this to send out to multiple people and have it tailor made so it has their name on it. 
So to start our mail merge, we're going to go to our mailings tab here. And from our mailings tab, we are going to click on start mail merge. And let's do the step by step mail merge wizard. Now you will have this sidebar pop up here. We are going to do a letters mail merge to so make sure the dots there by letters. We're going to come down here to where it says next starting document. And we are going to use the current document. So make sure the dots next to it and hit next select recipients. Now, the first thing we want to do now that we're here at select recipients, we're going to go to the use an existing list. So we're going to hit the browse button here. And we're going to go to our downloads folder. So let's go ahead and go to our downloads folder. And we want to do the W08 entertainers, the Excel worksheet. So let's go ahead and click on that and hit open. And here it is. We want to make sure that's selected and hit OK. And here are the entertainers that we are going to merge into our document. However, we only want to use the ones who have a role of singer. Also, we want to sort the data source to display the postal code in ascending order. So let's go ahead and click right here where it says sort. And our sort and filter box will come up. We want to sort by. And we're going to sort by postal code. So let's find postal code. And we want it to be in ascending order. Go ahead and hit OK. And it should put this in postal code ascending order. And then we also want to filter by role. So let's go ahead and click on this filter button right here. And we want to select the role field. Here it is. And we want it to be equal to, and we want to type in the word singer. Make sure you capitalize that S. And go ahead and hit OK. And now it'll filter everything else out and we'll only have these three right here, which have the role of singer. Go ahead and hit OK. And now we're going to come back over here to our mail merge and we want to click next write your letter so now we have right here has our address block reading line and stuff but we're going to go ahead and come over here to our mailings tab and we want to insertion our insertion point on the blank paragraph following the date so right here we're going to put our cursor right here in this blank paragraph right after the date. It wants us to hit enter three times, so one, two, three. <clears throat> it wants us to insert the address block. So I'm going to come up here to my write and insert fields. And I'm going to click on address block. It wants us to match the field street with address one so right here where it says match fields i'm going to go ahead and click on match fields under address one i want to make sure it's matched with street and once i have that i want to hit okay and i'm going to go ahead and hit okay so now it puts in our address block for a mac you will follow the directions in step number four so now let's go ahead and hit enter two times. And it wants us to put in the greeting line. So I'm going to come up here under our write and insert fields and I'm going to click on greeting line. And we're going to go with the default. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Once again, for Max, make sure you follow the steps on step number five. Now I'm going to hit enter one more time. And we need to find in the paragraph that begins because you have worked in one of our cruises in the past. We want to take our cursor and we want to put the insertion point to the right of past but before the comma. So right here, we're going to put it right after past. 
It wants us to type a space bar. So we're going to go ahead and space bars. And it wants us to type as a. And then press space bar again. So now it wants us to come up to our write and insert fields. And right here where it says insert merged field, I'm going to click the down arrow and I want to put roll. So now the way this should read is, it says because you have worked on one of our cruises in the past as a roll, comma, we hope that you will be able to join our staff again. All right, so now we're done here. We're going to come back over here to our sidebar where it says next preview our letters. And when we do that, notice how when we preview it, it gives us uh, Mr. Howard Fulcher, and it says in the past as a singer. Notice how it Taylor made this particular letter. So now we're done, we can go ahead and hit complete the merge right over here. And we're going to come up here to where it says edit individual letters. And we're going to select all and hit OK. So now we should have three letters, one for Mr. Howard Fulcher, one for uh, Miss Green, and then the last one for Benjamin Cox. So once again, very easy way to send out a whole bunch of letters to people that kind of makes them look uh, a little bit like they were custom made. So now we are in a different document. It says we saved it as letters one for me, but it will say a different document. We're no longer in our document that we started with. So we want to save this as uh, G Entertainers Merged. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to hit the file button and I'm going to hit save as. And I'm going to go ahead and browse and I'm going to go to my downloads folder. I'm going to go to my downloads folder. That way I keep everything uh, in the same spot. And I'm going to give it the name of read Jason 8G Entertainers Merged. So my last name, my first name, 8G Entertainers Merged. And I'm going to hit save. And it will take us back to our document. So now for step number eight, it wants us to Oh, it wants us to go ahead and close this document. So we're going to come up here to the file tab and we're going to hit close. And here's our student file. We don't need to save this either. So I'm going to go ahead and hit file and close. We'll ask if I want to save my changes. I go ahead just uh, just in case. Go ahead and hit save. And now you need to show a blank word document. So go ahead and open up just a blank word document. We should have our ruler showing at the top and the side. We're going to create a directory mail merge. So let's go ahead and go back to our mailings. And once again, we're going to do the start mail merge and we're going to do a step by step mail merge wizard. We are going to select the directory from the sidebar here and hit next starting document. We're going to go ahead and use the current document. So go ahead and hit select recipients. Just like before, we're going to come up here to browse. We're going to use an existing list. And once again, we're going to go to our downloads folder and we are going to select this W O A G entertainers and hit open. So once this is open, we have this highlighted, go ahead and hit okay. This time it wants us to sort the data by role in ascending order. So we're going to go ahead and click on the sort button here. We're going to sort by role. So let's go ahead and scroll down to where we find role in ascending order and hit OK. We're not going to filter anything. So go ahead and hit OK. And now we want to uh, create some tab stops. So it says on our horizontal ruler on step number nine, to set a left tab stop of the uh, at the three inch mark and the five inch mark. So with our ruler showing here, without clicking on anything, I want you to come over here to this corner right here. See this little icon? Don't click. I just want you to hold hover over it and it says a left tab stop. It should pop up left tab. So we have a left tab set. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the three inch mark. So we're going to come to our three inch mark on the ruler 
just below the three, just hovering right at the very bottom of the three. Go ahead and click once. And when you'll see it, it puts this little icon there. That is a left tab stop. We're going to do the same thing underneath the five. We're going to go ahead and right underneath the five, at the very bottom of the five, go ahead and click once. And it should put another one of those tab stops for us. So now that we got those tab stops there, right here in our first uh, line where we're at the very beginning of our document, we want to put in the first name merged field. So I'm going to come up here to my right and insert fields under mailings. Click under here where it says insert merged field and I'm going to do first name. I'm going to hit the space bar once and I'm going to go ahead and insert the last name. So I want to go ahead and click on this merged fields again and I'm going to select last name. Now I'm going to hit the tab key and when I hit the tab key, notice that it's going to take me to the three inch mark where I put that tab stop. That's what a tab stop is. It stops the tab right there. Now we want to insert the home phone. So I'm going to go ahead and come up here, insert merge, and I'm going to do home phone. I'm going to hit the tab button again. Once again, it's going to take me to the five inch tab stop. And I want to insert the roll. So I'm going to come over here to the insert merged field and click on roll. So now that we have our roll field here, it wants us to hit enter. I'm going to hit the enter button once. All right, so now we want to come over here to our sidebar. Let's go ahead and click where it says next, arrange your directory, and then go ahead and hit next, preview your directory. And notice how it puts in a name for us, the phone number, and what their role is. Let's go ahead and click next to complete the merge. And we are going to go ahead and merge to a new document and we're going to select all records and hit OK. And now you should see everybody that we had in our data field and now is how it puts it in order from actor all the way down to singer. So now we have an easy directory that we can use to call these particular performers uh, for our cruise ship. So now it says at the top of the document, it wants us to insert a blank line. So make sure your cursor is in front of T for Todd and hit the enter button. That'll create a blank line for us. We can go ahead and now hit the up arrow key, which will take us back to that blank line we just created. And let's go ahead and type in Caribbean customized. Go ahead and hit enter. Let's go ahead and type in available entertainers. Hit enter again. Go ahead and type in name. Hit the tab key, which will take us over to our tab stop, our three inch tab stop. Type in home phone. Once you typed in home phone, hit tab and then type in talent. So now we have our title, we have our name, home phone, and talent. Now for step number 11, it wants us to select the two paragraphs. So let's go ahead and highlight Caribbean Customized down to Available Entertainers. It wants us to change the font size to 16, so under my font, I'm going to change it to 16. And since I'm already right here, it wants me to bold. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit B for bold right here. I'm just going to hit the B for bold. Now it wants me to select the third paragraph, which is this name, home phone, and talent. Go ahead and highlight all three of those. It wants me to apply bold. So I'm going to come up here to my font group, hit B for bold, and the U for underline. So now we can take a look at this. It's a quick little directory for us to post and to call talent as we need to. So now we want to save this. Let's go ahead and hit file, save as. And I'm going to go ahead and save it in my downloads folder. And I'm going to give it a name of read Jason 8G 
entertainers directory. So once you've typed in the name, go ahead and hit save as or save. Now it wants us to put in some uh, directory, some uh, tags. So let's go ahead and come up here to the file tab here. Let's go ahead and click on info, show all properties. And under add a tag, under tags, it wants us to type in lowercase directory, comma space merged. Under our subject, let's type in CGS. And under author, uh, make sure it says your name. So if there's uh, something else there, hit remove person, and then you can go ahead and type in your name. Go ahead and hit the save button. It's going to take us back to our document here. And lastly, it wants us to put the file name in the footer. That's easy enough. I'm going to go to the insert tab. Under the insert tab, under our header footer grouping, hit the footer all the way down to edit footer. And right here where it says document info, we'll click on document info. And right here it says file name. Go ahead and click on file name and it will put in the file name for us. And one last time, let's save our document. So now it wants us to reopen our uh, first name, last name, entertainers merged document. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the file button here. And I'm gonna click on open. And I'm gonna to navigate to, or I'm gonna see over here in my current uh, documents, I wanna find my entertainers merged document. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And it's going to open up this document that has all three of our letters. We want to select the entire document and copy it. So go ahead and hold down your control key and hit A. Control A will highlight the entire document. Go ahead and hold down the control key and hit C. Control C will copy all of the contents. And then we can go ahead and minimize this, go back to our uh, document. If you haven't done so already, you can go ahead and close the header footer. Now it wants us to go to the end of the document, so hold down your control key and hit end. If you don't have the control end key on your computer, you can always scroll down here to the bottom underneath Howard and put your cursor at the very last paragraph. It wants us to insert a next page section break. So I'm gonna to go to my layout tab here. Under my layout tab, under my page setup, there's this breaks button. I'm gonna click on breaks. And I want to do under section break, I'm gonna do next page right here. Now at the top of this new document, we, uh, this new page we just created, we want to paste our copied uh, letters. So hold down the control key and hit V to paste, control V. The reason why you use control V instead of control P to paste is because control P is the shortcut to print. So now let's just go ahead and double check and scroll all the way through, make sure we have all three letters. Also, if you don't uh, have control V to print uh, to paste, you can also just right click and hit paste or you can uh, come to the home tab here and hit paste as well. So right now, if we look at our document, I should have all three of our letters and I have our directory at the top. So I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and hit the save button. Once again, uh, we are going to submit this, but we need to pay, pay attention. We need to make sure we are going to submit this entertainer's directory. We will not be submitting the file that we downloaded as our homework. So once you've saved this again, this entertainer's directory, I'm gonna minimize this. I'm gonna come back to our starting documents, exit out of this, I'm gonna choose my file. Once again, I'm gonna navigate to the downloads folder find my read json 8g entertainers directory hit open and upload and now i'm going to submit for grading 
and it says kudos we are done i'm going to go ahead and hit close assignment or just exit out up right here and i'm going to check the three dots here and i'm going to view my submission and it looks like i got a 90 percent not sure why i'm going to go ahead and click on my view submission here and i'm going to scroll down it says locate the uh, it looks like i did something wrong on step number six i'm going to hit the down arrow key and it says because you have worked uh says the text was not set to as a singer interesting i'm going to go ahead and i want to open up my my file here again i'm going to open this up i'm going to scroll down and it says because you have worked on one of our cruises in the past as it looks like i did not type the a so i somehow missed a so i'm going to go ahead and just uh, to put it in here i'm going to put uh, an a here hit space so now it says passed as a singer i'm going to do the same thing to this next one here let's do it for all three of them i'm going to put the a hit the space bar come down to the last one here and the past as go ahead and put my cursor there hit a space so now they all say what they're supposed to say as a singer i don't know how i missed the a i'm going to hit the save button again I'm going to exit out of this. I'm going to go ahead and reopen up my entertainer's homework. I'm going to go ahead and choose file again. I'm going to select the same file that I fixed and saved. Hit open, upload, and submit for grading. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this up and go back. And I want to click on these three dots and hit view submissions. And I got 100%. So I went back and I fixed my mistake. If you made the same mistake, please feel free to go back, fix it, and resubmit it for a better grade. As always, thanks for watching the walkthrough. I'll be posting chapter 9 here shortly. And have a wonderful day.